Well, what's up, people? I actually thought I seen Bush out in my pasture. So I had to grab my camera and go out. Ah, come to find out all that was was a quivering little rabbit. What can you do? No, actually, there was a turkey, wild turkey out I was trying to get, but I didn't get my camera in time. It took off before I had a chance. It's been a couple weeks, so I figured I'd catch up on a greenhouse and get a little political. So, how do you all think about what's been going on lately? Add a few comments if you like. But for now, why don't we go check out and see what all is turning green. Well, if you have, if you can notice, you can see the growth from from the outside. The rack is just about full. I'm going to have to add a second rack coming up to the top, and there's a whole new system since the last time you've seen it. This is Aeropronics. The solution is sprayed in the air, hits the roots, and it goes from there. All it is is a a bucket, four plants per bucket. There's a hole. Whoa, get look out for the water spraying out of it. There's a hole in the bottom of the bucket with a sprinkler head that just comes straight up to the middle. Sprays all around the inside, ricocheting off the box and everywhere else, and gets constantly uh, waters the, the roots. Runs off into the gutter. The gutter just brings everything back straight to the reservoir. All the products can be picked up at any local hardware store. It's just a few buckets, the water pump, three quarter inch pipe, three sprinkler heads that you would use in your garden, full circle, and buckets. The cilantro's doing good. The seeds, ah, that experiment didn't go so great. About the only thing it took was some spinach and not much of that. But I'm going to replace all this stuff and put strawberries here. I got 50 plants coming, 25 Ozark and 25 Sarah strawberries. They're both ever bearing, so I should have fruit all, all year. And tomatoes are just exploding. It's unbelievable on how much that they're, not only are they so much taller, they've just brushed out and exploded. So what did y'all think about the primaries today, huh? Hillary actually did a little bit better than I expected her to do. She took it by 10. But again, boy, she she did it the neocon style, though, didn't she? Beating on them war drums. I actually said she'd go nuke Iraq or Iran and shit. Jeez, what happened? Rove go work for her? Well, in a way, Rove has worked for her. Rove, Rush Limbaugh, the right wing talking heads, all having their little minions support Hillary. That's the side of the equation that the media is barely touching on. Because the neocons fear the fuck out of Obama. Because they know damn good and well he said that he would have his attorney general look into crimes committed by this administration, including war crimes. That's some serious shit there. I could see why the neocon side of the equation would want Hillary instead of Obama. Even if Hillary won, it would just blame everything that Bush has done on Hillary and go for the win 2012. Or at least I know that's running through their little bitty bird brain. But what can you do? You can see I've got a, quite a few different varieties of tomatoes I've replaced the bell pepper that was in here put those outside and I put some more bell peppers in the area Man, system has just been like I said it's been kicking ass this is enjoyable to do the greenhouse and takes especially the situation and the shape this country is in but let's face it I mean to, for this country truly to save face this administration should be ser serving serious time. They lied us into a war. And if the country and western community had a set of balls between them, they would clean up their own mess. It's the good old boys, banjo-picking, tobacco-chewing motherfuckers that put Bush in power to begin with. 
a pretend good old boy that bought a ranch in Texas and a cowboy hat and started talking stupid. Eh, he may always talk stupid. Can't blame everything on the good old boys, but they're played like a cheap fiddle. And I sure to hell don't see the country and western side of the community standing up and taking responsibility for their actions. If anything, they, we ain't gonna vote for no nigger. That's about all you'll hear from them. They won't say anything about what they've done. But what can you do? It is the country we live in. Yeah. Tested my solutions for the area and check out the fishes. This is why this system is considered a aeropronics. Not aeropronics, this is aquaponics because the fish are living in the solution. This is actually a, a nutrient flow technique is what the, the system's called. When you add the fish to it, then it becomes aquaponics. But it's been kicking ass. You know, <laughs> need something to take your mind off all the bullshit that's going on. This is a perfect little hobby to do it. Plus, it's a good way to go green, and hopefully a few people will maybe actually take the step and try it on their own. Hopefully they will. I know I've been asked a lot of questions about it. One of the questions I get the most is, how does them tomato plants grow so big with such little bitty pots? Because the roots aren't in the pots. The roots are in the pipes. I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. And I got a feeling, considering these plants are only a month old, the root base on them are pretty nice. See, the full, this, this pipe is pretty much almost full to the point where it's running off the top. These roots stay in the solution constantly. That's why it takes so much airflow. Because you got to really oxygenate the, the solution before putting it through the system. But that's not a bad root ball, if i got to say so myself. Pretty clean. <laughs> a lot cleaner in this country, anyway. But what are you going to do? I mean, I wish the, the Ron Paul supporters would actually give Obama a decent look. Most of them are blue-collar worker, and when it actually comes to the blue-collar side of the equation, he, I I think he would do the best for everybody concerned. He sure the hell wouldn't get away with anything shady. <laughs> a black dude would have somebody looking over his shoulder all the time. And as soon as he did screw up, the right wing would want him hung from the nearest telephone pole. Not like Bush. I'll let that little motherfucker get away with everything without taking responsibility. But what can you do? Eh, that's about where I'm at so far. And politically, not a whole hell of a lot has changed. So you guys have a good one and take care.